everyone, it's Amber, and I'm back with another fun video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm very excited to show you this very simple project. This is something that I've done for years. Um, I just put different twists on it each time, and it's such a fun way to memory keep or scrapbook in kind of like a new trendy way. So I'm using this beautiful paper pad by Paige Evans. It's um, an American Crafts paper pad, and again, the designer is Paige Evans. It is just absolutely beautiful. The colors are so vibrant. It's um, got like a travel theme, but it's got like mixtures of boho prints and just really vibrant, bright colors. I love it for the new year. It's like a fresh paper pad, kind of like not really a style that I usually would go for, but I decided to try something new and I absolutely love this paper pad so much. And so we're going to make mini scrapbooks today and I cannot wait to show you how easy this is. If you have been a subscriber for a while, this is nothing new, but it's still going to be a fun project that you can kind of freshen up, use for something new. And I bet you already have the supplies to make these. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's talk about the actual scrapbook that we're going to be using. These are those cute little photo holders that you can get at Walmart and the Dollar Tree and you can get them at Michael's. These are 97 cents at Walmart and there's 24 little sleeves for photos. It's really nice quality, nice and smooth plastic. And I know this isn't a big deal, but the sticker on the back of the Walmart ones come off smoothly like a dream. Um, I had some issues with these ones because these ones are from Michaels. They're the Kane Company brand and the sticker back here was not smooth and not um, easy to peel off. These were two dollars at Michaels. I had to use like my Goo Gone wipes to get the whole thing off and it was kind of like a big mess but it's all clean now and I dried it off. So it's good to go now, but the Walmart ones are super low maintenance, easy. Um, these, so what I'm going to do is take out all these generic covers and we're going to make our own covers. It's going to look so good. We're going to decorate the inside, put lots of paper in there. This is a great way to use up your single-sided scrapbook paper. So what you need to do before you cut your paper down is all you need to do is pull out the cover and measure it. So on this one, this is the Kane Company one, I already measured it and wrote it down. It's six and one eighth by four and a half. And the Walmart ones were almost the same. They were six and a quarter by four and a half. So I know now how big I need to cut my paper for these two and for the three Walmart ones. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you all the paper that you're gonna need to make these fun little scrapbooks. So you're going to need some scrapbook paper. You can use single-sided scrapbook paper. And for the covers, you're going to need four pieces. So that's going to go on the cover, on the inside cover, and then on the back, and the back inside cover. If you have double-sided paper, you only need two pieces because, of course, it'll show through on both sides. But since I'm trying to use up my single-sided paper, I just cut two pieces of each pattern down to the dimension of my cover. So as I mentioned earlier, just take this out, measure it, and that's how big you're gonna cut your paper down. So each of these books is gonna take four pieces of scrapbook paper, and that's pattern cardstock, um, to do the covers. So these are the patterns that I chose since we're gonna do three here on video today. So you're also gonna need some scrapbook paper for the inside of your album. So here is all the scrapbook paper that I cut down for the inside of our little scrapbooks. And because, again, I'm doing three, I went ahead and cut all my paper down at once. And so for each of the cute little scrapbooks, you're going to need 24 pieces of scrapbook paper that measures four by six. Now, this is a perfect way to kill... Um, one of your 12 by 12 single sided paper pads because I'm going to show you how to cut this down to get the most out of your paper. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself, but let me just show you how I cut it down. So here is a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper from that collection. And I'm just going to put this in, cut this down to six. So just keep in mind the top of my paper is at the right and the bottom is at the left. 
And then I'm going to put this in just to make it a true six because we have that strip on the top. Okay, so now we've got six inches up and down. And then I'm just going to stack these on top of each other and cut this at four inches. So we've got, this makes six pieces that measure four by six. So for each 12 by 12, you can get six pieces. And if you don't have a huge variety of paper, um, all you're going to need for this is four pieces of 12 by 12 to fill all of your inside pages. So again, this makes six pages. So I'm just going to divvy out two for each album. And now I have 24 pieces for each album. So now we're just going to fill those pages up. So before we start filling the pages up with all of our scrapbook paper, these are the three patterns that I chose for the, the front covers of my scrapbooks. So I'm going to look at my cut apart sheet here and just kind of decorate these up. This is where you can really get creative and make this your own. Just make sure you keep it fairly flat, but you can still put some dimension on here. So this is like super fun because you get to, to decorate these all as little tiny layouts or you can kind of decorate them the way you would like the front of a card maybe. But I've got that cutout page that I just showed you. Plus I have these cute little um, booklets that came with the collection. This is phrases and these are just like little swatches. I have some stickers that go with the collection. So I'm going to go ahead and go through all my stuff and I'll be right back to show you kind of like my design ideas. Enjoyed watching me decorate my front covers and now is the fun part we get to put them in the book so this one here is one that goes in the Walmart scrapbook so that goes with this one it was like an eighth of an inch smaller take out the front cover that comes with it and I'm gonna slip this one right in to be our new front cover it's gonna be super cute and before I reveal that one and show you how it looks on there, this is the inside cover page that I chose. So it measures the same as the cover. So I'm just going to slip that in there. And on this page, if you're giving this as a gift, you can glue down like a little journaling spot. Maybe from the, I might glue the, this page here or document this. It's like a little journaling spot. That would be really cute for the inside front cover. But let me show you how this looks. Oh my goodness, it's so cute already. I mean, just look at it compared to like this generic cover. It's just so cute. It's actually now a little mini scrapbook and I cannot wait to fill this up with our scrapbook paper. So let's just do the back side really fast. We're gonna take out the back cover. Okay. 
but it just looks so nice and finished now. I think this is so adorable and fun. You can make these your own. Oh my goodness, they're endless possibilities. So let me do the other two and get those covers in there and then we'll get these filled up. Okay, so now we have these all done and it's time to put in our scrapbook paper. So I have these in stacks of 24 and I have a mixture of paper from that paper pad. So it's super easy. All you do now is just take each sheet and slip it in the pocket. So these all measure four by six and it's just gonna be so easy and it's gonna be super colorful and artsy all throughout this album. And I'll show you what you can do to add pictures and journaling to this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish stuffing all of my scrapbook paper into the little pockets. Okay, so I'm all done stuffing the scrapbook paper into all the pockets and just look how beautiful this looks. I mean, this is such an easy project. So fun and you can use up all your scrapbook paper that you have. Just cut it down to four by six and you've got yourself a cute little scrapbook. So this is pretty much done. I do like to add a little something extra. Um, to the side here and you can also go through here and choose some pages that you might want to add a journaling spot so maybe take this one out and glue a little piece of white paper here so you can journal I like to keep it like this until I know what's gonna go on each page so for a photo it's so easy all you do so you just take out your little sheet and this is if you want to fill this up for yourself or even if you want to go ahead and decorate it up for your somebody you're gifting it to this can be little mini scrapbook pages you can decorate them however you want you can put stickers and journaling spots and little tiny photos I have the Polaroid zip and it makes the little tiny little um, portrait style photos I think they're so cute you can add stickers and journaling spots, or you can just do a four by six on each one of these. And I know that doesn't make sense because here's a four by six photo. And of course it covers the entire scrapbook page. So all you would have to do is just get out your paper trimmer or some scissors and just trim around this. Kind of, um, so you can just trim around your photos. You can even corner around them if you want. And then look at how cute. You put it right on there, it, and you've got yourself a cute little memory. And of course, you'd glue it down. I'm not sure I want this photo on the front, but let me just show you how it looks. So there you go. So now you have a cute little layout page inside your mini scrapbook. You can put stickers on here. Again, you can put those like label stickers and put the date on there or anything. This is just so fun, and you've got 24 pages to decorate, make your own and I think it's so fun. Or you can just leave all these in here and gift this to a crafty friend. Um, another option is Instagram pictures and these are four by four. This is one of my favorite pictures ever of me and my mom and sisters. And a four by four photo, you don't have to trim. You can just place it and glue it on there and you've got a pretty border on the top and bottom just beautiful on its own and then I would take some of these out and glue down maybe some line paper or white paper so I can do journaling it just depends on what page I'm on and what I want to do for that page so let me show you one final finishing touch before I finish up my other two albums so I've got this really pretty coral ribbon it matches this strip right here and it's kind of going with the whole travel boho theme so I'm just gonna cut Let's see, I really don't know the length. So let me do 24 inches and see how that works. So find the middle of your album. Let's see, I think it's right here. So here's the middle and I'm just gonna take this and eyeball it in the middle. 
then close this up and go to the side here and tie a little bow. So I think adding just a cute little decorative touch like that with the ribbon looks really cute and just adds a little something to the album. I decided to move it up and make the little bow be up here. I think that's super cute. So here's the completed album. I think it's adorable. And we've got all our papers in here. So pretty. Here's the back. But I just think that's so adorable and it would make the perfect little cute gift. So I'm going to take these two now and fill these up with scrapbook paper and I'll be right back to show you the finished products. I got all of them done. They are so cute. Here's the one that we did together with the ribbon and everything and all the beautiful scrapbook paper. I did this in like a horizontal direction and I think it turned out super cute. Here's how it looks. And here's all the fun paper. I filled all the pages up. And so that makes a super cute scrapbook as well. And then here's this one. I use seam binding on this one and I think it looks really cute. And I get my seam binding from My Scrap Cabin on Etsy. I love her shop. I'll link it below. And this one here is the Cane Company one that I got from Michaels and it actually has 36 pages in it. So I had to cut down a little bit more scrapbook paper, but isn't that just gorgeous? All this beautiful Paige Evans paper. It just makes such a beautiful album and each of these pages could be their own little work of art and I just love it so much. So these would make beautiful gifts, a scrapbook for 2021 for your memories um, and you can do them any theme with any paper. It's just such a great use for your single sided paper and um, if you have lots of photos that you like to give to people you can fill these up with them, you can decorate them like scrapbook pages or you can even just journal and add journaling spots. So I'm glad I have the sticker sheet so I can decorate the pages along the way as I add my photos. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you're inspired to go out and make a mini scrapbook of your own. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and it'll help me to know that you like this type of video. Thank you again so much, and I hope that you have a great week. Bye.